instead of releasing all of these separate products, we said, hey, screw this. Let's put it all into one product. So this is Volti Switch. And we've managed to get this into an incredibly small form factor. Let's take a peek at some of the features. So when you first turn on your Volti Switch, it's in what we call auto switching mode, meaning it's ready to take any type of test. So we'll go over here and we can see, yep, we're getting an EMF hit on the AC side of this laptop power brick. However, to prevent interference between modes, we lock out other functions depending on what you're doing. Like if you're going into an engine bay, you don't want to get a temperature reading because the engine bay is hot when you're actually trying to get a voltage reading. So certain modes will get locked out. You'll notice, for instance, here, if I do a continuity or a voltage test, it's going to lock out the EMF mode and the temperature mode. That way you don't get interference. So to re-enable those modes, you simply just turn the voltage switch off turn it back on, and then it's ready to take any type of test. We include this little protection sheath with the grippy end so you can store a Volti switch on your keychain. However, we also modeled the bit after the bit inserts for Leatherman Multi-Tools. Now what's cool about this is that not only can you store your Volti switch inside the Leatherman, you can also use the Leatherman where the tip of Volti becomes your positive test terminal and the rest of the tool becomes the negative here. Now we can test things like AA, AAA batteries. In this demonstration here, I'm going to do a lithium ion battery here. We're gonna check for the voltage. We're gonna turn our Volti switch on, and then we're going to probe the battery, and we're gonna count the blinks. One, two, three, four, so 4.12. That is a fully charged lithium ion battery. Spark EMF was designed to detect things like spark plugs firing, but then we realized it can detect other things, even things that you might have in your household. This is an old school tube type television. Even while it's off, you'll notice when I get close to it, we're getting a definite hit. That is a sign of some poor electrical shielding. However, this is not limited to vintage electronics. We have a modern OLED style TV here. And you'll notice when I get close to this one, even while it's off, we're still gonna get a hit from that. So let's go see what other types of things we can measure using the Sparky EMF mode. In a pinch, you can use Volti directly from your keychain to test 12 volt car and motorcycle batteries. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use this metal key as the negative terminal and the tip of Volti as the positive. So we're gonna go in here, carefully probe, and then we're gonna read our output voltage. Green is 10, plus one, two, three for yellow. That's 13 volts, point one, two, three, four, five, 13 point five volts. That is definitely a fully charged battery. If you work on conventional cars or motorcycles with a 12 volt battery system, body mode can be an extremely quick way to test probe points for the existence of voltage. We're gonna go through this fuse block real quick here. So we can see, we're gonna test both sides of the fuse. And we'll notice on this one, we get nothing. Let's test these last two. We're gonna pull this fuse out for visual inspection. And we can see, yep, that is definitely a blown fuse. All right, this is Tempe mode. So the green blinking LED shows that it's waiting for a temperature change. If we go up in this mini split here, in a few seconds, we should get a reading and every green blink is going to be 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So 60, one, two, three, four, five, six, 65 degrees. Now this is gonna go down in real time. So the next one will be lower. One, two, three, four, five, 50. One, two, three, four, 54 degrees. And what's cool about this is if you remove it from your test environment, it's going to store the lowest or highest deviation since you've turned it on so you can get that temperature reading even if you pull it out of the test environment.